Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to find x and y intercept of a rational function. To find x intercept, you simply set the value of y in terms of 0. And to find y intercept, you simply set the value of x in terms of 0. So let's take the first example. On example number 1, we have f of x equals x plus 1 over x. The first thing that we're going to do, since this is an example of rational function, let us change f of x in terms of y. So that is y equals x plus 1 over x. And let's find x-intercept. So to find x-intercept, change y into 0. 0 equals x plus 1 over x and then cross multiply so that is 0 equals x plus 1 and then move 1 to the side of 0 so that is x equals negative 1 so our x intercept is negative 1 and to find y intercept y equals x plus 1 over x change x in terms of 0 so y equals 0 plus 1 over 0. 0 plus 1 is 1 over 0. Any number divided by 0 is undefined. So therefore, our y-intercept is undefined. What about number 2? What is x on y-intercept on number 2? We have y equals x minus 7 over x minus 5. So as you can see, if we change 0 to y or y to 0, you simply eliminate the denominator and the value of y. Then we're going to have x minus 7 equals 0. Or in other words, to find x intercept, simply equate the numerator to 0 because the given is a rational function x equals positive 7 and then to find y intercept we have 0 minus 7 over 0 minus 5 to simplify negative 7 over negative 5 negative divided by negative is positive so our y intercept is 7 over 5 What about number 3? Go ahead and find the x and y intercept of number 3. We have y equals x plus 2 over x squared minus 1. So if we are looking for x intercept, we are going to change y into 0. Then 0 multiplied by the denominator is 0. Therefore, we simply equate the numerator into 0. That is x plus 2 equals 0. Then x equals negative 2. To find y intercept, we have 0 plus 2 over 0 squared minus 1. So we have here 2 over negative 1. y intercept is negative 2. That is 2 divided by negative 1. What about number 4? What is x and y intercept on number 4? So again, change f of x in terms of y. That is y equals 2x minus 3 over x minus 5. To find x intercept, change y into 0. And then multiply the denominator that is 0. Or simply equate the numerator in terms of 0. 2x minus 3 equals 0. And then... Move negative 3 to the side of 0. That is 2x equals 3. Divide by 2. Our x is 3 over 2. Or our x-intercept is 3 over 2. Then, our y-intercept is y equals 2 multiplied by 0 minus 3 over 0 minus 15. So, 2 multiplied by 0 is 0 minus 3. That is negative 3. 0 minus 15 is negative 15. Negative divided by negative is positive. 
3 over 15 can be written as 1 over 5. So our y-intercept is positive 1 over 5. Because the greatest common factor of 3 and 15 is 3. So we divide the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor, that is 1 over 5. What about the number 5? What is x and y-intercept on number 5? So we have y equals 2x or 12x minus 6 over 3x plus 4. So change y into 0, multiply the denominator that is 0. We have now 12x minus 6 equals 0. Then 12x equals negative 6 move to 0 that is positive 6. Divide by 12 to find the value of x-intercept. So x is 6 over 12 that is 1 half. Then, our y-intercept is 12 multiplied by 0 minus 6 over 3 times 0 plus 4. 12 times 0 is 0 minus 6 equals negative 6. And then, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 4 is positive 4. Then, negative 6 over 4 can be written as negative 3 over 2 because the greatest common factor is so our y-intercept is negative 3 over 2. What about the number 6? What is x and y-intercept of f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 6 all over x plus 3? So to find x-intercept, so we're going to do the same process. Let us change f of x into y. y equals x squared plus 5x plus 6 all over x plus 3. If you change y into 0 and then multiply by x plus 3, the result is 0. Therefore, x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So this is an example of quadratic equation. Therefore, we have two values of x, two values for x. So we have factors of x squared, that is x and x. Two numbers, if you multiply, you get 6. If you add, you get 5. That is 2 and 3. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. So therefore, let us equate x plus 2 and x times x plus 3 into 0. x plus 2 equals 0. And x plus 3 equals 0. So the value of x is, is negative 2 and negative 3. What about the value of y-intercept? So to find y-intercept, we simply have y equals x squared plus 5x plus 6 all over x plus 3. We need to change x in terms of 0. So if you are going to multiply 0 square and 5 0, the remaining is 6 on the numerator. And 0 plus 3, that is 3. Then 6 divided by 3, that is 2. What about for number 7? Go ahead and find x and y intercept for number 7. Let's change f of x in terms of y. That is y equals x squared minus 8x plus 7 all over x squared minus 4. To find x intercept, change y into to 0. Multiply the denominator, that is 0. So we're going to have x squared minus 8x plus 7 equals 0. So again, we have a quadratic equation. So let's find a factor of this trinomial. The factor of x squared is x and x. If you multiply x and x, we get x squared. Then factors of 7. If you add, you can get negative 8. If you multiply, you can get pos positive 7. So that is negative 7, negative 1. Negative 7 multiplied by negative 1 is positive 7. Negative 7 plus negative 1 is negative 8. And then equate to 0. x minus 7 equals 0. And x minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, the value of x or x-intercept is 7 and 1. What about for y-intercept? Y we have y equals x squared minus 8x plus 7 
over x squared minus 4. If you change x into 0, so this will be 0, 0, 0. We only have 7 over negative 4. So that will be our y intercept. What about for number 8? We have here y equals 6x squared minus 17x plus 12 over 7x minus 4. So let's find x-intercept by substituting the value of y that is 0. Multiply to the denominator is always 0. So we have 6x squared minus 17x plus 12 equals 0. Since the value of a is greater than 1, what are we going to do? So we multiply 6 by 12. 6 multiplied by 12 is 72. Now, what are the two numbers? If you multiply, you get 72. And then if you add, you can get negative 17. That is negative 9, negative 8. Negative 9 multiplied by negative 8 is positive 72. Negative 9 plus negative 8 is negative 17. Now, let us put negative 9 and negative 8 as our factor. So we have here 6x squared. It doesn't matter if you go going to put negative 9 on the first or last or negative 8 on the first or last but what is important is you can factor these two number in the first and last last term of our equation we have 6x squared i'm going to write first 9 then i'm going to put x minus 8x plus 12 equals 0 so negative 17 change to negative 9x minus 8x then let us factor by group and then greatest common factor of 6x squared minus 9x, that is 3x. 6x squared divided by 3x is 2x. Then, 9x divided by 3x is negative 3. And then, greatest common factor of 8x and 12 is also 4. And then, 8x divided by 4 is 2x. 12 divided by 4 is negative. 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. Therefore, 2x minus 3 and 3x minus 4 is the factor of 6x squared minus 17x plus 12. And then let us equate 0. 2x minus 3 equals 0. And 3x minus 4 equals 0. Then move that is 2x equals 3 divided by 2 x is 3 over 2 then move negative 4 to the side of 0 3x equals 4 divided by 3 so x is 4 over 3 what about for y-intercept so this will be 0 0 0 the answer will be y equals 12 over negative 4 12 divided by negative 4 our y intercept is negative 3 for number 9 f of x equals 2x squared minus 8 all over 4 minus 5x squared so to find x intercept let us change f of x into 0 so that is 0 equals 2x squared minus 8 over 4 minus 5x squared. If you multiply 0 by 4 minus 5x squared, the result is 0. Therefore, we only have 2x squared minus 8 equals 0. Then, move negative 8 to the side of 0. That is 2x squared equals positive 8. And then divide both sides by 2 to eliminate the coefficient. So we're going to cancel 2. x squared equals 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then square both sides to eliminate the exponent. x is square root of 4 is positive and negative 2. And then to find y-intercept, we simply change the value of x into 0. So y equals, so this is 0. We only have negative 8 and then this is also 0 we only have 4 
y equals negative 8 over 4, that is negative 2. So that will be the value of our y-intercept. And then for number 10, go ahead and find x and y-intercept for number 10. So let us change first f of x in terms of y equals x squared minus 7x plus 10 over 4x cubed minus 2x plus 1. And then change y to 0. 0 multiplied by the denominator is 0. Then x squared minus 7x plus 10. So let's find the factor of this trinomial. So factor of x squared that is x. And then two numbers. If you multiply, you get 10. If you add, you get negative 7. So that is negative 5 and negative 2. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. And then let us equate to 0. x minus 5 equals 0. x, equal, x minus 2 equals 0. Therefore, our x is positive 5 and positive and then, to find our y-intercept, we have x squared minus 7x plus 10 all over 4x cubed minus 2x. So if you substitute the value of x, that is 0. So this will be 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 1. So 10 over 1, y-intercept is 10. So that's how you find x and y-intercept in a rational function.